Hi, this will be a continuation of our discussion of React Native. In the last video, we installed React Native and initialized a sample project that looked something like this. And what I'd like to do now is I'd like to just talk a little bit about how the files are organized and how you're going to work with components in React. And then we'll get into components in detail in a later video. So right now I'm looking at index.ios in the, uh, the project folder. And we can see here that we've got some import statements at the top, followed by a class definition called example1, and that was the name of my project. And we can see that it extends component. So this component comes from React component, right? So what we did is we imported the React object, and then we also imported the component class or the component object from, from the React library, right? So when you do an import statement, everything you, you, you export from a class, you can import inside the curly braces here. So you can say import from, so you can import a named item that you've exported from, and then you name the library you're, you're importing from. If it's one of the libraries in the node modules folder, then you'll just say the name of that folder here. So there's a folder in node modules called React, okay? Um, let's take another look over here, right? Um, if actually, wait, let me mention one other thing. So if you export an item, you'll put it in the curly braces and you'll name it, okay? And that's what we did here, right? We've app registry, style sheet, text, and view. If you've marked something as the default export, then the default export you can just say by name without putting it in the curly braces, okay? So <clears throat> in other words, somewhere inside the React library here, there is an item marked export default that is React, and there's another item just exported called component, okay? So down here we have app registry, style sheet, text, and view. And then this is from React Native. So React Native is another library in Node modules. And it has some items that are exported. And they're not default because these are in the curly braces, right? So they're, they're just marked as export. And they're app registry, style sheet, text, and view. So, um, so anyway, how, what are, what are we going to do with this? Why don't we actually work with this import export thing right now and talk about how we're going to organize our files. Now you could build your entire project inside you know, index.ios, but that kind of, you know, ignores one of the best features of React, which is the component-based, you know, structure, right? So what we'd like to do instead is we'd like to create um, flexible components that we can compose and put together to build our interfaces. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a new folder over here. So I'll say new folder, and I'll call it components. Okay, so I've got the new components folder there. And then in my components folder, I'll add a new file. And I'll name this file app.js. And what we'll do with app.js is we will... Actually, this was my leftover app.js from an example. I'm going to delete that. Pretend you didn't see that. We're going to actually build that, right? Um, so what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to make a new app here and then display that, make a new component there, and then display the app component here in, um, in our, our default class, or our, our you know, index.ios, right? So we're going to do that here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go back to my app component here, and we'll need to import the React library. So we got to have React. And we'll import it from React. And the next thing we're going to do is this app will contain a view and a text object, and it might use the style sheet. So I'm going to put the curly brackets there, and I'll import text, view, and uh, style sheet. And then we'll import this from React Native. And then what we'll do is we'll define our component. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say export default. Actually, I'm going to change this. I'm going to say, uh, yeah, actually, let's do this. There's a couple ways you can write this. So I'm going to say export 
default const. So it'll just be a constant. I'll call it app. And I'll set it equal to a function. So what I'm creating here is a simple component. So simple components are just defined as functions that return JSX. Okay, so I've got my simple component here and I'll say return. And I'm gonna use the parentheses because remember we can only return a single um, line of, of stuff here, but if we put it in the parentheses then we can return multiple lines. So if I need to use multiple lines, I'll, I'll be set up for that, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna return a view a view component, right? And this view is this guy right here, right? So this is a view component. And this essentially in iOS, this is a UI view. And I'm not sure what the equivalent is on Android, but it's the equivalent there. It's a, you know, just essentially like a, um, a rectangular area of the screen. And it it's a, um, hierarchical, so you can add other views to a view. So one view can contain multiple views, right? So if you have a bunch of, like if you want to create a card or, um, you know, a, a table view cell or a header or something like that, you can kind of group everything together in a view. So here's my view. And then what I'll do is I'll put a text object inside here. And in iOS, this would be the equivalent of a UI label, and they probably have a text object in Android. You know, so this is also, you know, equivalent to that. And, you know, here I'm going to write this like an HTML tag. Um, and I'll just put some text in there. I'll say, hello, world. There we go, right? And, uh, and that looks pretty good. Um, as an alternate way that you can write this is we could take the export default off here and say, you know, export default app down here like that. That would also work. You know, we've defined app up here, and then we can export it on another line. But if you want to save a little bit of trouble, you can do that all on one line also. Okay, so I've got my component here. We've created a component. We've imported the elements that we need to run this component. Um, I didn't use Stylesheet, but I'm going to use that later. So, And I didn't use React, but we actually have to have React here. Um, it doesn't work without it for some reason, even though you don't actually see it here. But, uh, but anyway, so we've got our stuff. Actually, I noticed I misspelled React. That should be React like that, right? Okay, so, so there we go. So I've got this component. It's in my components folder. Now remember, when we import, um, if we import something from the node modules folder, we can just name the folder that the thing comes from. So we just put the name in there, and we don't have to worry about the path. Um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to import this file, app.js, into index iOS. And when I do that, since this is one of the components I created, I'll have to include a path to this component. Okay? So let's go to index iOS. And in this case, I'm going to change my, my import statement a little bit here. And I'm going to get rid of everything except app registry here because now I'll just need app registry from, from React, and I'll leave the rest of this stuff alone. Okay, so I'm just switching that up because I'm not going to use the text and the view here. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to my component here, and you can see this is actually a, a stateful component. So this is the other type of component you can create. Instead of being a simple function, this is defined as a class. And this was the default implementation they gave us. We could have created a, a simple component here also. Um, I'm going to leave this as a stateful component because my, as my app grows in complexity, I may have a reason to give my app like an upper level state. So I might want to hold some state for my app here, in which case I'll want this kind of component. Okay, So I'll leave it like this. And then I'll look at the return statement here. And what I want to do is I want to get rid of all the code here, and I want to um, draw the app here. So I want to take this app component and, and run it here. So the first, or you know, display it there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up to the top, import app from, and then I'll have to, like I said before, I'll have to include a path because I'm, I'm reaching for one of the components that I created. So I'll do dot slash, you know, this is dot slash means current folder, and then I'll want to go into the components folder. So I'll say components, and then I'll say slash app. And we don't need to put dot js on the end here, like that. 
um, though you can. So I'll, I'll just do .app, and that'll be this guy. So now the app component that we exported over here, export default app, will be this object here, or this identifier will represent it inside this file. Okay, so now that we've got that, let's um, remove all of the code here with between the two parentheses there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a JSX tag for app. So we import it app here, and then I'll render it with a JSX tag here. And I think what I'm going to probably end up doing is only render app in index iOS and then I'll do the rest of my work in app and in the components folder here so actually I don't even need the parentheses and I can just put this all in one line and just return that thing I'll leave this um, you know console actually I'll just even get rid of the console log we're not even using that there we go that's pretty simple okay so there we go um, one more thing okay I need app registry because this is how my app you know loads itself into the main you know system that runs it so I need that down here that's where I'm using app registry this thing right here where it says const styles this is um, from the default code and it set up a style sheet and we'll talk about style sheets in a little bit and how to apply styles to your things I'm not using this one here anymore because I've taken out all of the default stuff so what I'll do is I'll just delete all of this stuff here so I'll just delete that whole thing and now my index iOS gets pretty simple right it's just import react and component from react import app registry from react native import app our component from components app and then export a class that extends the component which is this guy right the react component and then you know if we have a class based component we need to have a render method so our render method will return JSX which is our you know our component that we created okay so let me save that and see if I did it right there and I'll go to the simulator and just hit command R oh, when I have a problem here well that's good though let's look at the problem right so it says unexpected token on uh, oh wait app JS unexpected token on line 4 let's go take a look so I'll go over here on line 4 I got some problem here you know maybe I can't do this let me, let me change this around I thought you can um, I'm going to do this export default app right there we go let's try it again oh and then it likes it that time it's hard to see but it actually says hello world up here so if we want the hello world to appear somewhere or give it a font size or something we'll have to add that add a style to it right so anyway thanks for watching that video went a little bit long but um, that should walk you through the whole import and export and uh, you know some of the default component stuff and we'll, we'll talk about making your own components and applying styles in the next couple of videos okay so thanks for watching